Praxis and today is the second full day of using just our solar system. We're completely disconnected from the grid and it's working out really, really well. As a matter of fact, we've had just a couple of days that have been you know, partly sunny, but a lot of clouds. In fact, today's been mostly cloudy. But even at the end of the day, our, our batteries are still at about 90% capacity. So having all that extra panels up, up there, 6,000 watts of panels, 10, uh, 10 uh, kilowatt hours worth of batteries, you know, it really keeps up with our usage. I mean, we're not super high energy use people, but I still use electric ovens and all those other things. And today, I was using a table saw. I wasn't sure how much the draw was on the table saw, so I, I checked it out. I ran it for a few seconds with Amber watching the meters inside. The table saw spun up to about 2,000 watts uh, right at the beginning and then settled out just under 1,000 watts well within the system's ability of 6,000 watts to run it. So it's great. I can run power tools, I can run everything, and it's working out really, really well. And again, even on days that aren't super sunny. This is what I'm working on today, is the air filter. If you guys remember this box I was working on with the two uh, air intakes here, I added some felt over the surface because this is where the four air filters are going to be uh, stuck, one here, one here, and then on the other side, pop, pop, like that. And we're going to be holding them in place with this. This is going to kind of clamp the air filters down on top of here. And this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, this is going to get sheathed in all of these, uh, these boards, so it'll kind of match the house, it'll be really classy that way. And as I was designing this, uh, because you're gonna have all these boards in the front, uh, it started looking uh, to me in my p sketches like, like a bat box, like what you would build to encourage bats to move in, because they kind of fly up under this gap here, this is where the air goes in, under here, and um, you know, they would nest inside. Now, I, li I like to keep all my animal nesting and air filters just exclusively in my car. I'm just kidding, I hate that also. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've had a lot of trouble with uh, nests of mice in my car, and I've been working on that pretty successfully, and I don't want to turn this into an animal nest as well. So what I've got going on is uh, some of this stuff. This is some uh, roof ridge filter material. It was left over from building this place, and I'm gonna be layering a couple of layers of this kind of, uh, Right across, right across here like that, and then take these guys and sandwich it all right in. I, I'm thinking I might, I might throw some staples in there as well. So that, that's the plan for this. Is um, I'm going to get these guys in there, get it all together, and and then I gotta gotta start finishing this up. And it's a little bit difficult because I'm trying to make this thing so that it can be um, used differently with different types of filters. If one filter is not available, I, I can use a different filter. So it's getting a, a little bit tricky because I want to make it so that it can accommodate different size filters and stuff. But uh, it's coming together, things are working out great, and I love that we're completely off-grid right now, completely disconnected from the street. That's been a really nice feeling. That's it, thanks for watching.